In this video, we will show you how to make a drawstring bag and how to label and decorate it using a pattern of lines blended with text. We will actually show you how to create this drawstring bag from scratch. This is our take of having a luggage organized. We've made several different sizes, each one meant to pack something different and labeled them accordingly. Now, let's get started with the embroidery part. Select a hoop suitable for the size of the design you want to create. Start the Outline tool to create a curved line. If the line isn't exactly what you want it to be, you may edit it by using the Node Editor to edit the drawing. Now, using the rectangular RE tool, we will create a pattern fill for this line. We only want vertical copies. Define the spacing between them, making sure Clone Objects option is enabled, and apply the array. Have in mind that at this point you may actually edit the pattern by editing the nodes of any line and all the lines will be edited at the same time. No matter what line pattern you have created, select all the lines, right click and use Convert to Red Work option. Now, let's draw a rectangle on top of the area that is to be covered. We will now remove the fill and set an outline color. Now select both, the lines along with the rectangle. Right click and use the knife option. In this way, we cut off the parts of the lines that are outside of the rectangle. Select the whole rectangle with the lines and make them a group so that you can easily handle it later on. This is our fill pattern. Now you can start the text tool and type any text you like. Adjust size and position if necessary. Select an outline color and remove the fill. Now select both the lines and the text and use Trim option from the shaping menu. Finally, select the lines group Use Break Apart option and we're done! You can make this any color you like just by editing the color. Finally, prepare the file for the machine. Notice that you can create any type of line you like. And using a different line, you may create any line pattern you choose. Just use your imagination to create any pattern fill you can think of and blend it with any text you choose. Now let's move on to making the drawstring bag. We're ready to embroider now, so make sure you've gathered all the materials you need. We will need the outer cloth, a piece of 26 by 26 centimeters or roughly 10 by 10 inches. This size is the size created in this video, so make sure you get a fabric suitable for the size you intend to make. You also need a string, stabilizer, threads, adhesive spray, and of course your embroidery machine and hoop. Start your machine and load the design. Draw auxiliary lines with a tailor's chalk on the cloth to embroider the design at the correct position. Attach the stabilizer at the back of the cloth 
so that it doesn't shift and it's easier to hoop. You can use tape or a pin to secure the cloth in place so it doesn't move. I find adhesive spray really convenient, it sticks firmly and can be easily peeled off. Hoop by aligning the auxiliary lines drawn on the cloth with the center lines of the hoop. Set the bobbin and the needle thread, attach the hoop to the sewing machine and start embroidery. When the embroidery is complete, remove the hoop from the sewing machine and remove the cloth from the hoop. Tear the stabilizer off. Now we only need to sew the bag together. Sew around both sides with zigzag stitch or over edge stitch so that the cloth doesn't fray. Fold it in half, facing the right side down and mark 6 cm, that is roughly 2 inches, from the top. Sew both sides to the marked point. Fold the unsewn parts to the width of the seam and iron. Sew the unsewn parts on both sides. Fold the top edge by 1 cm, that is roughly 1 quarter of an inch, and iron. Fold once again, this time by 2.5 cm, that is roughly 1 inch, and iron again. Sew a little above the crease. It is sewed like that. Turn the inside out. Now we need to pass the strings through. Pass one string from one left hole through the other left hole and tie the ends. Pass another string from a right hole through the other right hole and tie the ends together. It's done! Just fill these lovely bags and off we go!